organ pipe. It has two successive resonances of 204 and 340 hertz. It means if one resonance happens at 204, the very next one is 340. There's not another one in the middle. First question asks, is the pipe open at both ends or is it closed at one end and open at the other? Let's think about the frequencies and see if we can get to our answer for part one. So the bigger frequency we have there is 340 hertz. Let's write that one down. The next lower is 204 hertz. That means we can find the difference between the frequencies. Delta F is this frequency, take away this frequency, 340, subtract 204. So the difference in the two frequencies is 136 hertz. That means our next lower frequency is 204, subtract 136. So our next lower frequency is 68 hertz. This frequency is as low as we can get. Frequencies aren't negative, so this is the smallest frequency. Therefore, this guy is the fundamental. Okay, now we know lots. Now we know this is the fundamental. We know the change is 136. We can use that information to tell us about the tube. F1 is 68 hertz. Delta F is 136 hertz. So we see that delta F is twice the fundamental. And that's a feature of tubes open at one end and closed at the other. If the fundamental were equal to the change in frequency, then we would know that the tube was open at both ends. Okay, the next part, how long is the pipe? Well, we can use any of our resonances to tell us that. Let's use the fundamental. We know that our fundamental frequency, F1, is, oh, looks like my pen dried out on me. F1 is equal to V divided by 4 times L. And we use 4 times L because it's the pipe open at one end and closed at the other. That means the length of our pipe is V divided by 4 times F1. Doesn't say anything about the air. We'll assume that the speed is 343 meters per second. We'll divide that by 4 times the fundamental frequency of 68 hertz. And we get a length of 1.26 meters, which is about right for the size of an organ pipe. 